You know those days where you're running late, but you still have to look presentable, but you have no time to do it? Yeah, we've all been there. So today I'm gonna share my tips with you guys on how I get ready when I'm in a pinch. Chances are, if you slept in, it's probably because you went to bed too late and didn't get enough sleep. And I don't know about you guys, but my lack of sleep shows on my skin so much. So we're gonna tackle that first. I'm gonna start with a pure, no filter, blurring photography primer. Since we don't have a lot of time, I'm not gonna do foundation and different layers of things. So there's like multiple things on spots of my face. I'm gonna do kind of everything all at once to just take care of it quickly. So I'm gonna start with concealer and just put it under my eyes because I probably have big bags from not sleeping and then just any spots. Now I'm gonna take my Pure Baradol foundation and I'm just gonna put that on spots where the concealer isn't already. And now I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and just blend that all in at the same time. I'm kind of starting where the concealer is because it's lighter and then I'll blend in the foundation because I don't wanna get my foundation on the sponge and then rub it into where I want it a little bit lighter. I think one of the best tips for getting ready and looking presentable when you're in a rush is to pick a focus. You can kind of trick people into thinking you're put together by having one thing put together. So either focus on your hair, your makeup, or your outfit, or even a specific thing about one of those. So rather than wasting time doing winged eyeliner and crazy eyeshadows and all of that, I'm gonna focus on a lip because just putting on lipstick sometimes can take you from looking like you spent no time getting ready to a bunch of time getting ready and it just takes a few seconds. So all I'm gonna do to my eyes is brush through my eyebrows with, I've shown you guys this before, it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Tinted Brow Gel. You guys know, I've said before, this is like, if you're gonna have one product for your eyebrows, this is really all you need. It does everything. It tints them, it fills in patchy areas, and it also is a gel so it holds them in place as well. I also like this late routine because nothing takes a lot of precision. I am such like a all over the place person when I'm running late, so I don't really have the patience or the focus to have to do something that requires me to like be steady or really take my time. Now the mascara I'm using is Laura Geller Drama Lash. It gives a lot of volume, so it really just opens up your eyes. If you saw my recent makeup video doing my quick and easy simple makeup, I'm doing a couple of those steps the same. I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. And I'm using this to contour lightly and quickly. So just where you would normally contour, I'm just doing a light brush through to give my face a little bit of color. So. Again, don't look so sleepy and run down. All right, I'm just gonna finish off my face with some lipstick. This is the Pure Velvet Matte and it's in the color Obey. I love this brush because it's angled so it's really easy to get exactly where you want. And it's a fairly nude neutral color. I don't wanna have some crazy bold lip when I have such a subtle makeup look, but it still makes it look like, again, you put in some effort. Okay, moving on to my hair. Now, if I'm feeling lazy, a lot of times it's just going up or I'm putting a cap on, but I'm trying to trick, deceive, and manipulate people into thinking I spend time on getting ready. My hair is naturally straight, but it's not like a nice straight where I can just wear it out looking the way it is. You can see the dead ends and it's a little frizzy and I have really flat hair. So my solution today is going to be to use a straightening brush. This one is by Vanity Planet and I have been dying to use a straightening brush forever. And my straightener actually broke so I didn't feel like getting a new one because I don't wear my hair straight very often. So when I do, I just want something really easy and what's easier than brushing and straightening your hair at the same time. This specific brush heats between 170 and 370 so you can adjust it so it's safe on your specific hair type. I'm gonna set it to probably about 250. 
I have pretty thin hair and I color it, so I really want to be careful with damaging it, which is another reason why I wanted to try the brush. It's supposed to be less damaging on your hair than straightener. It's also going to add volume because I have such flat hair. So if I just straighten my hair with a straightener, I can get a sleek look, but that's all I can do. It's very flat and just like on my face. I can't get any volume. So taking my brush, I'm just going to take sections. I'm really just going to do it quickly all over my hair and framing my face where you would really notice it. And I'm going to go under the hair and at the root so it gives me some volume. And then just drag it out and using your hand to kind of lead it. And there you go. Nice and smooth and soft. And then I'm just going to run underneath so I don't waste any time and just smooth that out. If you guys would like this straightening brush, you're in luck because I have a 50% off coupon code in the description box below, so check it out. All right, and we are all done getting ready. You just need to throw on clothes and run out the door. For your outfit, if you're running late, use a go-to outfit. Put on something that you know you feel confident in and looks great. Don't try to make a new outfit or just come up with something random. Just pick your go-to outfit, whether it's a t-shirt and jeans or a dress you have. When I'm running late, I oftentimes will throw on a dress and it makes it look like I spent so much time planning it, but really it's just because it's one piece. It's so much easier to just slip into one dress and throw on some sandals and be done with it. Okay, I'm ready to go, and that took no more than five minutes. Hopefully next time you guys are in a bind and need to get ready really quick, you'll remember some of these tips and it'll help you out. If you have any tips that you would like to share, go ahead and comment them below. Love you guys, see you next time. Mwah.